Hello and welcome back. We are about to face the old one, but we are doing it with charged levels. That's right. Let's take a quick look here. We are level 125. That's the max level, and we are here ready to battle the old one. So let's swing on in. We have the captain's key. Let's unlock it. The battles we have already completed have been Geralt of the Golem. We've done the uh, Ice Worm. We've battled the Clouds and also Chibolini here. So we're going to be finishing the old one. Then we're going to move in to oh, also Mira. We did Mira as well. Um, we're going to move in to here in the Academy and we're going to be battling the shadow forms of all of these boss battles. And then we're going to battle the Puppet Master with charge levels to see how that goes. No idea. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. I can't wait. Let's Let's go ahead and open up this captain's room with the captain's quarters key and see what we face. I love this. So that little that little head here was just attached to the old one the entire time. Here is old one, and old one is weak to electricity. I don't have any um, uh, storm powers whatsoever, but let's see how this goes. Um, this is going to be... I think he might actually be resistant to that. We'll see in our next attack. That's a miss. Starting out strong here. Now, do remember that we now have Billyfoot over here hiding in the sand. The sand is sort of uh, dusting around him. As it does when you're scuba diving. Let's go ahead and do Green Gust and see if this is weak. It is not weak. Okay, good. So that's a good hit. And then we have our smash. 516. So we are halfway done. Two times nine. That's going to be 18 for us. And let's just do our green gust. 383 from us. That hits all of us. And I think we're throwing cabbage. Let's see the leaf burst. Is there enough? Power in that cabbage there is not so we are gonna go ahead and come on to shiver tusk and have shiver tusk help us out here with a skewer we're gonna use those ice tusks those shiver tusks to skewer old one and we have one that is awesome let's open this up all right got some currency all finished Let's head back, okay? Yes, let's head back. Yes, let's go right straight to Eve. You did it! Way to go, kid! Thank you very much, Eve. I think you can handle this now. The Order of Influence better watch out. That's right, we are coming from them, and I can't wait to know who else is part of the Order of Influence. I'm really excited for the next chapter here in Prodigy Math. Here's the shipwreck gem. You've earned it. Thank you so much, Eve. So we have the powerful water relic, 400 gold, and the shipwreck gem. Wow, you have all the keystones! This is awesome. Let's hurry to the academy and teach the puppet master a lesson. We are going to be doing that in our next video, but as you can see, now that we have all With the of them. Power of the keystones, we can finally free the academy! That's right, we can finally free the academy, which is what Gale should be doing right at this point. Um, but Gale's not doing it at this point, so we'll go ahead and do Gale's job again. All right, so the, here, the Puppet Master is right here waiting for us. We have already been all the way through here. We have all of the gems. It was a blast playing through this today. Um, I, gr I ground up as many areas as I could, so after Firefly Forest, the only area I had to grind through today was Shiver Chill Mountains. And uh, we are going to go ahead and swing on over there. This boss battle adventure has been so much fun. If there are any other charged battles that you want me to do that you would like to see me participate, participate in please do let me know i think i'm probably going to do all of the shadow forms together as one whole unit um the only parts of the story that has changed like dramatically is the ending to firefly forest it was really dramatic and um i'm thinking that the shiver chill mountains will be the next to change and then we're kind of kind of go around the beginning of shiver chill mountains is different seems like the voice actor is a little bit different absolutely loving these charge levels i hope it stays where um everybody has the same charge level um so that you know it's sort of uh, fair across the board um, but really really excited for this um, 
and cannot wait to go to the academy. See, <laughs> just everywhere you go, go to the academy. Go to the academy. Defeat the puppet master. Defeat the puppet master. Go, go, go. Go to the academy. Hurry up, hurry up. And so now that we are getting ready for the puppet master battle, I believe I have the fastest boots that I can have. Um, let's go ahead and check around. I haven't seen any. There are boots that are better. There are boots that are faster, but I don't think that I have any. Um, let's see. I believe the Celestial Boots are the fastest here, and they're four slower than the boots that I have. I've looked through all of the shops, so I don't think I'm going to be able to help the speed. I have Mira's Hood on, which is my best hat. Um, Mira's Robes, which are my best uh, armor. And then my wand, I am going to change it back to the Dual Blade. We're going to try to run the Dual Blade. Um, I, I prefer the Triple Hit, but we're doing Dual Blade for right now. And as far as the Relic, we're going to switch the Relic to... The flash relic here, which is the um, the you you got this relic for playing Prodigy after school. So the spell spell is fl flash. It's an AOE. It's not bad. It's not as strong as the Ancient's relic, but this should give us a pr as best uh, an opportunity to go ahead and do this. If you are level 81, if you're under level 81 and you're having trouble, I would strongly suggest getting to level 81 and getting this cybernetic set, the cybernetic mask, the cybernetic armor, and the cybernetic boots. These are solid. Um, and then after that, if you're a member, you can go ahead and get these Black Knight Greaves. I believe it might be one or two levels higher. But then 86, if you get the celestial boots, you get the celestial armor here, and you get the celestial hat, Celestial Helm, then you'll be rock solid at level 86. So if you are struggling, grinding just a couple more levels is um, kind of kind of the easiest way to get there. Uh, it's quite a grind for all of the uh, Titan Power armor, in uh, which you get, of course, from battling the Titan. Um, but if you do need to do that, battling the Titan is good to do until he's gone. Then doing a uh, Crystal Cavern run, that's a really good way to just kind of jump a couple of levels. Levels. If you're at level 80 and you play Crystal Caverns, by the time you finish, you should probably be 84 or so. Um, so uh, sh sh or Crystal Caverns twice, or just as much um, of the Titan as you can take in one setting, are two great ways to go ahead and level up your characters if you are looking for that. I think we are all ready to go for our boss battles, though. Really excited about this. Can't wait to get started and even uh let's hold this over here even newt is saying let's hurry to the academy and teach the puppet master a lesson we are going to start that right after right after this video so um i should be getting this video out today the video i just did though is going to be coming out probably after the weekend i assume if um how i'm uh splitting videos up goes how i'm thinking in my head all right, so uh, yeah, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for the comments. All of that helps our channel and our community to grow, which is going to help us do more lives. The next battle party uh, is going to be on uh, whenever we get 12,500 subs or my other channels go up 500, including uh, Fluffy Princess Productions. All right, take care. Have a great one. We'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye, all.